Hello, composers! Today we present the Graphical MIDI Tools 2 plugin for Sibelius. This new version combines Sibelius scripting language manuscript with a native code application to create a piano roll view window. This interface will allow you to edit many MIDI aspects of the score, including changing the sound start and duration of the notes, editing note velocities in a graphical way, drawing your custom automation curves for any MIDI controller, and with the new Phantom Notes module, you can insert hidden notes, which will play without changing the written score. These are great for completing passages or triggering key switches. In this walkthrough, we will explore the main features of Graphical MIDI Tools 2. After running the installer, you should see the Graphical MIDI Tools 2 option in the Plugins menu. Just as in version 1, this plugin needs to be used through a keyboard shortcut not from the menus. In this case, we will use the tab key, but you can pick whichever you consider best. If you need detailed instructions on how to do this, please check the installation video in this channel. To open GMT, select one or more measures and press the plug-in shortcut key. The piano roll window will open, showing the region you have selected. You can expand your selection by clicking on the right side of the roll. In the top part of the window, you can find the timeline displaying the measure numbers and beat divisions. Click on the light blue area to position the playback line wherever you want. Use the green play button to start playing from that point in time. Towards the left, you will find buttons for soloing or muting the staff. Using the piano roll, it is possible to edit the sound start and duration of notes. These modifications do not affect the written score, but only the playback. For example, in this passage, we might want to give the final chord a slight arpeggio effect. Click and drag on each note to reposition its sound. You can also select multiple notes at the same time. Let's shorten the sound of these notes to produce a staccato effect. With GMT, you can edit note velocities in a graphical way. Click on the lower tab button and the velocity lane will appear. The dashed lines mean that no velocity has been set for those notes so Sibelius will decide which one to use according to expression and sound configuration. Click and draw over the lane to enter your own velocities for the passage. Notice how GMT paints the softer notes with a light color and the louder ones with a darker one. One of the most powerful features in GMT is the ability to draw automation curves for any MIDI controller. The automation lanes are opened through the upper color tabs. Click on one of them and the lane will open. Use the mouse to draw the curve for the desired MIDI controller. In this case, the expression. As you draw, the corresponding MIDI commands will be added to the score. To erase curves, use the right button to activate the eraser tool. Pressing the shift key will insert jump nodes. These change the controller value on the spot without creating a smooth transition. The shift key will also disable the grid, allowing you to draw curves with maximum resolution. The upper color tabs are completely configurable, just as in version 1. Click on the button in the lower right and the configuration dialog will appear. You can activate up to 8 tabs at the same time. For each tab, you can assign a MIDI control number, the color, 
and the label it will have. As an example, let's try adding a tab for the pitch bend. We will assign a pink color and PB as the label. We save preferences and the new tab appears. Now we can draw a pitch bend curve. A new feature introduced in this version is the Phantom or Hidden Notes module. Now you can insert notes which will be performed on playback but do not belong to the written score. This can be useful to fill performances where notation is not 100% explicit. For example, when writing a harp glissando, only the first notes are usually written down. Sibelius would normally play this with a gap in the middle. With phantom notes, you can fill in the missing notes in the glissando. Click on the phantom green button on the lower part to enable the phantom note tool. Now we can complete the glissando. Notice that these notes are MIDI command based and do not affect the written score at all, only the playback. To add even more realism, we can select the notes and make their sound last longer to generate a sustain effect. We can even control the velocities of the notes. Another use for phantom notes is triggering key switches. In some libraries, it is possible to change the sound program by playing certain keys. With the Phantom tool, you can insert these special switches notes, and Sibelius will play them without affecting the written score at all. In this example, we use key switches to change the sound for each articulation in the violin. GMT's Piano Roll introduces a special characteristic. When scrolling up or down, notes which get off view do not disappear completely, but instead they are indicated through thin color lines in the top or bottom parts of the grid. We call these borders side lanes. Side lanes gives you an awareness of all the contents in the roll at a certain point in time. This prevents you from losing track of the notes, even if they are in a distant pitch. Graphical MIDI tools will help you create more realistic mockups within Sibelius, allowing you to adjust MIDI parameters wherever you feel the playback engine needs to. All your MIDI edits, velocities, automation curves, or hidden notes are stored in the score file, and they are carried over to the MIDI file when using Sibelius MIDI export function. Edits will also be present when you open your score in another computer without GMT, except that you won't be able to modify them graphically. Setting up GMT is easy with the new automatic installer, requiring you to assign a keyboard shortcut after installation finishes. If you need help on this, you can find detailed steps in the installation video in this channel. GMT is available for Mac and PC. You can get the installer and a free trial license in the official webpage. Please don't hesitate to contact support if you have any other questions or concerns. As a final word, a special thanks to all GMT users around the world. Your contribution to this project continues to be very important for the development and addition of new features. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.